Welcome everybody. I want to introduce you to the new fire truck to the fleet. Uh, you guys know Sparkles, the one that sits right behind it. Um, I'll show a picture of that later. And uh, so this is, I purchased this this summer and I haven't been super active on YouTube, so this is the first video of it. And uh, what it is, it is a 74 Pierce uh, with a 55 foot telescort on it. It's four wheel drive chassis, even though it doesn't look quite look like it, it is four wheel drive. And it's powered by a 8V71, uh, naturally aspirated. Uh, which I've already put bigger injectors in because, you know, you got to do that. It's got a 1500 uh, pump in it and it has got a 500 gallon tank. And uh, so I've been doing some work to it, fixed the hydraulics on it, did some motor work to it and other stuff like that. Just a lot of cleaning up, that kind of stuff. So uh, what we're going to do today is actually putting it away for winter. So the first step to that is to make sure that it'll start again because I haven't run it in a month and a half because this is uh, very late fall, early winter here in Wisconsin. So it is uh, barely above freezing right now. So we are going to get this thing started up and then I will empty the cabinets then drive it to where it's going to sit all winter. So I'll take you through how we do that. So here we are behind the cab in the engine bay. And uh, what it's been doing for me, unfortunately, is somewhere I have got an air leak in my fuel system, which means that I get some air back in there when it sits for a few days, which means I'm going to top up the main fuel filter, the primary fuel filter here with fuel. And then once that is done, then it can self-prime and then it should be able to start. Hopefully it'll, hopefully we got enough battery power in this temperature to get it to fire. Otherwise we might be spraying a little ether in there. We'll see. All right, so now here we're in the cab. So now we'll get the battery disconnects turned on. And I can see that I've got, seeing I've got above 12 volts, so that's a good sign. Throw my ignition on, which means my... Well, my lights are coming up and we're going to see how well she cranks. Uh, so apparently not at all. So we're going to figure this out. Alright, so we got the starter cranking now. She's not turning super fast, so I might hook the van up to it to start to jump it even before we get the batteries down too low. So then it'll hopefully go. So we got the jumper cables on, on both sides. Now we're gonna engage high idle on the van. Uh, let's see if we can do this one-handed. Nope. There, that's the, the very custom high idle. And now I can set up the camera and then we'll try to get this thing started and I'll catch the cold start on the on the other camera.
got both trucks running. They both calmed down. And uh, I, I didn't, I meant to film that one, but it started up too fast. So I didn't, so we missed that one, but they're both idling now. So combined, we're just shy of a thousand horse sitting here of Detroit V8 power. This being a 12 liter, this being a nine liter. So yeah, I got this one airing up its own tire right now. Um, if you can see the little blue hose running out the door, that's running to that tire that's got a leak in it. So I'm gonna let them warm up a little more and then I'm gonna shuffle them around in the driveway because this truck has gotta go where this truck goes and this truck goes down the road. So, so yeah.
Well, my light has faded extremely fast, but my ride is going to meet me at where I need to drop this off at. So I'm gonna start it back up, head out there, and uh, we'll see if I do another lights video while I'm out there. Otherwise, the last part of this will just be me starting it up, and then uh, hope you guys have a great day. All right, this will give you an idea what it should sound like when it starts. Just like that. <laughs> 